Hey, honestly, the garage was clean like an hour ago. So, with the precision of a surgeon and a zip gun, start taking out the rear. Oh, gonna lose that. Start taking out the rear floor sections. I'm trying to work around what's left of the frame right now because I really don't know how this is supported. I understand I got that side of the frame done, that side of the frame's okay, but I gotta take the frame out. So what holds the rest of this up? I was told I'm okay from there, but I guess that's maybe if there's a quarter on it and everything else because this rocker is somewhat attached to this section, but that's a long ways away from the area where it's being held up the roof, but I think before I cut any of this frame out, I'm going to start welding some uh, bracing from uh, this area here up to this area or, you know, up to that section. Just because if this back end of this car drops, I'm screwed. Screwed and chewed and barbecued. So anyways, I shall do that. But right now I'm just playing surgeon. I'm hacking away the sheet metal. I mean, a floor pan. Uh, an aftermarket floor pan put in over top of the original floor pan. Like, don't even take the old one out. I mean, the cross member is just rotten underneath there. Or what do you call it? The subframe. It's horrible. This car <laughs> going to need a lot of new parts. Alright, just updating you with my uh, destruction here. Large gaping holes, yes. Uh, once was was a frame rail. This is what's left of it. Um, this I want to take apart carefully because I need to preserve these pieces. I may have trouble with the one on the back there because they welded plate steel on the outside of it. So I don't think I'm going to get no spot welds cut out of that. The only thing I can say is if I can get this off, it'll give me a good spot to locate the bottom of it anyways. But... I think uh, the new one has the same little spot here. It's kind of hard to screw up because once the back's pegged where I've got my uh, my brackets pegged, it can't move forward or backwards, so it'll locate the front automatically. Fingers crossed. But anyways, that's what's left of her. Not much uh, gaping holes. This thing, it's got to weigh 40 pounds by itself with all the plate steel welded on the side of it. The new ones don't even weigh 20 pounds. I'll tell you, it was solid anyways, I'll give him that, but anyways, let's go new, see ya. Morning kids, we're back on the CUDA, uh, I left you off, we were, uh, yesterday we were cutting out floor pans and, uh, I managed to get enough sheet metal out of the way to fit that frame rail in there. It's close, but uh, I need both sides, I think, so that I can make sure everything's level and square. I'm a long ways from welding anything in, but uh, I just came up with a list of additional parts that we're going to need. Uh, quarters, these drip rails, rear balance, um, quarters, yeah, inner fenders. I'm going to get, because uh, they're only about 100 bucks. I'm going to get the inner and the outer. If I choose not to, I might not use the whole inner. I might just section a piece out of the back of it because I don't want to really get into all the structure. But as you see, I've got the uh, driver's side quarter off. More interesting ways of doing things. There's the uh, quarter. But I was wondering why when I looked in the inner fender wall, I couldn't see a seam. I thought this was just damaged, but now I realize that's where the, uh, the new quarter is welded on. But I was wondering, geez, it's still got the original undercoating. And, you know, it looked like the original fender, but the new quarter starts there. It's just the lower half welded over top of the new fender, or the old fender, which is fine. It's to be expected on this car. What was kind of funny was I cut that edge, the top edge, and then started cutting the back, and the whole thing just fell off. So it really wasn't attached to anything on the bottom end. So anyways... I think this is going to make a nice piece of wall art, is what I might do with this one. I might just hang that on the wall. Still got the light in it and everything, that might be cool. Just clean that off in the front. Maybe get a rim to put in there. 
All I need now is a wall. Ooh, there's a few inches. No, nope, not enough. Anyways, moving on guys. We're going to get the rest of this back end out. The rest of this sheet metal out of here. Back end, all that's gone. So that I can try to start fitting the uh, frame rails. And the, uh, well, hopefully next week I'll have a uh, new tail panel, some quarters. And I can start fitting everything. Inner fender rails, all that kind of stuff. This should go pretty quick. So yeah. Well, good morning, YouTube. Isn't that a pleasant sight? Rust. Um, yeah, if anybody ever asks me, hey, is that a southern car? Southern car? I say, yeah, it's a southern car. Southern Ontario. But anyways, this is actually a week after those first videos you've seen there. I, uh, I did that last week. I uh, didn't post them started cutting the floor out obviously you've seen that part but flash forward ahead we have parts the part man cometh we have big boxes we have fenders we have quarters we have rear, rear balances uh, yesterday I spent the day hunting down some uh, online ads Kijiji got some tail lights uh, bought pretty much everything he had he's got these or I guess these would be a 70 this is 71 with the buckets I still need the black piece that holds them in uh, turns out the fella actually has a 70 71 I should say CUDA that he's doing very solid car uh, just needed quarter panels but uh, he is uh, willing to part with a lot of his original stuff because uh, he's gonna buy all the new aftermarket which would just save me a lot of time. He's digging it out and gonna send me some pictures of it. We'll see what kind of shape it's in, because I need a grill. Uh, I need marker lights. Uh, I need the rest of the components for the tail lights. And I'm sure there's gonna be something else that'll be uh, a lot easier to just uh, drive up the highway and get as opposed to shipping it. And you never know what you're gonna get if you're shipping old parts. But these I can go and touch them and feel them and decide whether I want them or not. But I got some nice picks which were handy as to uh, on the fire, on his firewall which hasn't been manipulated yet as to locating these and uh, like he said I can come out and measure anything I want and his is stripped down almost in the same state as this but difference being with his uh, the floors are actually still intact the rockers are solid everything with the exception he's working on the uh, outer wheelhouse and the uh, rear quarters on his car. Everything else on that car is solid as a rock. But anyways, I digress. Today's project, we're going to start getting the rest of this rusty metal out because we've got the new stuff here. We've got the inner fenders. I've got quarters. I've got the rear valance now. I've got the uh, doohickey thingamabobbers for that. So we sh once we get the rest of this metal out, we should be able to uh, start piecing things together. Bring on the vice grips. Whew. Lots of trunk space. See ya. Okay, I know it doesn't look any different, but what I have added here, uh, previously I had a support I put in there, which I was supporting the wheel well. I have it screwed to the top here so that none of this would drop when I cut all the floor out. But now that I'm changing, I'm gonna do both inner and outer. This isn't a lot of sense. This, this inner is just garbage. So what I needed to do was support from what this was supporting upward. So I welded a piece of tubing across the deck and then added this section here, which is okay, I can take that out put the new one in but then I'm gonna have to take this out again to put the floor in so it's only temporary I won't be able to even fit the floor so I've got to get the wheel wells changed out and then I can remove these bars moving on See and that's how you remove an inner fender well hey maybe we'll just tub it all right I think I'm all right I'm gonna finish this side though put the other one back in before I move to the other side I got way too much of this car missing right now. 
Okay, let's go. All right then. We finally got enough old crap cut out of there. Start putting new crap in. I obviously not welding anything, but I think what I will do is put this thing together with self tappers, because that'll still be stronger than it ever was. But uh, yeah, things are lining up just the way I was hoping. Uh, you know, I got some gaps here and there, but uh, that'll all come together. I've just tossed it in there right now. So we've got inner fenders, we got outer fenders, we've got a trunk floor, we've got frame, edge. Let me give you a letter. Light. Not much, but anyways. Now we have frameage. Obviously held together with vice grips and self tappers right now. But uh, feeling pretty good about the progress today. Nice clean inner fenders. Nice clean rockers. It's going to be a nice clean car when she's done. I think the only parts that are dirty are right about there. I think I can handle cleaning them up with a wire brush. Piece of sandpaper. But anyways, we got the trunk drop-offs that got to go in there. Sail panel, quarters. i still got to cut the quarters up a little higher. I'm going to take the window out of it. Go for the full Monty here. But I do want to get some of this somewhat secured before I go any further. Uh, honestly, guys, I think that's going to be your update for this weekend. Cuda Project, uh, you tell me the number. It's the one after the last one. I think we're up to 14 now. Lots of sheet metal. Can't even move in here. Does better when you put it on the car. But i got to do a serious cleanup around here. I'm happy with my progress for this weekend. Stuff is in. Uh, removing the old crap has got to be the worst job. Fitting this new stuff, oh, if i got to put it in and out four or five times, it's not a big deal. But uh, it's, everything's fitting pretty good. See ya. Have a good weekend.